Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. All right, everyone, Metroid Dread launched a little over a week as I'm recording this video, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people have already beaten this game, but for those of you who have not as of yet, this video serves as a warning because recently, Nintendo has discovered a game ending glitch in Metroid Dread that you need to be aware of. With that being said, let's get into the information here, which comes from Nintendo's official customer support page. As you can see here, the title reads, the software was closed because an error occurred. Error message appears near end of Metroid Dread. The information in this article can help if near the end of the Metroid Dread game, you receive the message, the software was closed because an error occurred and the game forcibly closes. We are aware of an error in the Metroid Dread game that prevents the player from proceeding when the specific sequence below is followed near the end of the game. We are preparing a software update to prevent this error, which should be available in October, 2021. Near the end of the game, if the player destroys a door while a map marker for that specific door is displayed on the map, the game will forcibly close and the following message will appear. The software was closed because an error occurred. We apologize for the inconvenience. If you are experiencing this error, please follow the steps below. And as you can see here, these are the solutions that Nintendo has provided so far. Restart the game and before playing through this sequence, remove the door icon map marker to prevent this error from occurring. Once the October 2021 software update is available, update the game. So there you all have it, pretty straightforward there as far as the solution is concerned. And I hope this video helps anyone who has encountered this issue and to help prevent this issue from happening with your gameplay as well. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I have not completed this game as of yet. I'm taking my sweet time with this game because I just wanna really enjoy it for what it is. And I wanna 100% this game because for me, this game is the game of the year for 2021. And hopefully this game is a candidate at this year's video game awards. Now, for those of you who haven't purchased Metroid Dread as of yet, please consider using the affiliate link down in the description box below to bestbuy.com. If you do so, I will receive a small commission which goes directly to supporting this channel, so consider doing so if you are interested. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And as always, remember to keep it locked here to Around the Clock. We're here, we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.